Hello everyone, I'm Chester44, also known as Fly, and welcome to this let's play of Spirit Fair. Last episode, we did some wa we did some wandering of sorts and spoke with a and uh, just did a couple random things. Right now, I'm actually curious about what's over here because I see this little symbol. So we're gonna head over and take a look at this. We also have enough resources that we can actually get an upgrade, which we are going to do. We need to upgrade the ship. We can upgrade its size and we can upgrade the blueprint table. Both need to be due, uh, done. After that, we'll go speak about. Well, you have something that needs to be done, so we'll deal with that after. While we wait... Oh, no hug? What about you, snack hugs? Snack hugs. Hugs are good. She doesn't need hugs. But she is ecstatic. Mood, we already know you don't like non-vegan food, so we'll need to do something about that and only focus on vegan food. We don't know your favorite thing yet. Likes everything, dislikes nothing, we don't know his favorite yet. And we appear to have arrived. No idea what this is. I guess we'll probably find out later. Alright, well... It's time to go to where we need to be go. To Albert's shipyard. We've got upgrades to get. Also, it looks like the cooking is done. I wonder if the vegan is partial to the vegetables. Alright, anything else to cook? Um, I guess cook the rest of the coffee beans. Okay, that's a quick one. There we go, two fresh coffees for anyone who wants them. And we've made it to the shipyard. Perfect. Oh! Someone wants to speak with us? Jump down. Hello there, young lady. I guess you must be the new spirit fair. Happy to make your acquaintance. I'm Francis. You can say I'm a sort of wandering merchant. See, I'm very fond of things. Objects, curios, tchotchkes. I just buy everything. Simply put, I will buy anything you don't want anymore. I'm sure you've come across a few valuable treasures already. So tell me, what is it you want to part with? I'm immensely chipper to see a dynamic young lady being so hard at work. Not that Karen wasn't a true professional, but his manners were... Well, a bit... Cold, if you know what I mean. And he kept everything he found. What a pity. But you're here now. Huzzah, if I dare say. Oh, and don't fret, budding mariner. If I ever need it, old Francis will never be too far. But don't let me be an impediment to your appetite for adventure. Go on, set sail, little blue jacket. Parents? Daily quests, that's interesting. We can buy odd seeds. What's this? When planted in the garden, it can turn into anything. Hopefully something good. And glass bottles. Hold on. Uh, we can sell all of these. Old carpet gives me a lot. Can sell the vibrant necklaces. And the fancy vase. I don't think there's anything else. Ooh. Citrine. Proof that beautiful does not mean expensive. Linen fiber, a bundle of rough stalks from the flax crop to be woven into linen thread in the loom. And linen th strength makes it excellent for more demanding applications. Well, I have enough. I can now buy this odd seed. Let's buy two. So thank you very much. So this gets planted in the garden, does it? So, probably in here, then. Nope, not in here. Uh, 
Ah, it gets planted in that garden. Okay, we'll deal with that later. You're actually working on the ship. <laughs> nice. Okay, anyway, thank you for your time. We need to go speak with Albert. Oh, Stella, I've been getting your mail here for the past month. I'm not a post office. You need to add a mailbox to your boat. If I get one more letter filled with glitter, I'll lose it. I'm warning you. It might be a customer, but I reserve the right to yell at you. <laughs> get it done. All right, all right. I heard they just fired an employee at the popcorn factory. He was a good worker, but they found him sleeping on the cob. <laughs> All right. Oh. Nope. There we go. Okay, so, first off, we don't have the maple planks or linen thread for that. We'll work on it. So, hobbyist will give us a sawmill, a loom, and a foundry. And upgrade the to the intrepid otter. A bigger boat. Don't have enough for the large one. And we don't have the oak planks or the linen thread for craftsmen, but we do need to get, uh... Linen thread and maple planks for that. So, thank you. Now that we've got this upgrade, let's see what they want us to do. Let's see. Oh, I, didn't, I don't have anything to do. I've got the surplus of energy. I need to get my hands busy. Can you do me a solid? You've always been my favorite niece. You know that. I think I need a place to focus that energy. Ooh. In a sawmill! Yeah, you're just missing some of the key components. Ooh. Materials! Which I'm sure you can find on nearby islands. I'm counting on you to help me Ooh. out. I'm sure you don't want your old uncle to sleep on the deck, right? Alright, alright. Let's see what we need to build these things. Uh, also, we can improve this. If we get linen fabric and maple planks, which we don't have. Okay, let's build. So we've got the loom. We need a lot more quartz for that. The foundry, coal and oak planks. And more maple logs and linen thread for the sawmill. So it looks like we need to make the loom first. And for that, we need to find somewhere to get the materials. Specifically, we need a place to get quartz. And we need to get more maple logs. So we've got a lot to do. Sprout! You've upgraded your boat! Hmm, that's weird. Don't tell Albert, but he left some bolts loose. Oh, he was probably just in a hurry. Give me a second. Here we go. Oh, mama, that did more than I thought. Let's see here. Oh, this boat's got some advanced options now. First up, you can travel safely and not go through all the dangers the sea has to offer. When you're using your map, you just need to toggle on safe travel mode. It's that simple. And don't worry, it won't stay on forever. Next time you select a destination, it won't be on. I hope that helps. What else do we have here? Oh, yeah, the engine's been boosted. You can now set multiple destination points. That's pretty handy. You can set your course and let the wind do its job. Besides that, it's just a bigger boat with more room. Well, have fun. It does sound useful. Ah, so there's the wandering merchant. Okay, so... I think we can... Yeah, we need to go investigate this new island, Green Halton Bay. So, I can set waypoints. If we set one there and one there... There we go! That works! Oh, you guys need, uh, watering. Much as I'd like to get more coal, I can't right now. I guess we can cook a few of the herrings. It'll take a while, but at least it's cooking. And you guys need water. There we go, that's nice. 
And since we're not really doing anything, let's go fishing. This is a very nice and peaceful game, I do have to admit. And that's nice. A, a bay shrimp. That sounds interesting. Okay, get off the boat. When Stella or Daffodil leave the boat, it stops. It will restart automatically once everyone is back on board. Don't think there's anything for me to dive into right now. Let's clean off the edge of the boat. Nothing but empty shells there. I should probably have sold those. Alright, boat is moving, and it looks like we're gonna need to rest soon. I do think your house looks nice. I just need to get more of the materials in order to upgrade it. And we do have more space, and we'll be able to place the new things we've built. Which will be nice. Oh, the cooking's done. And I think I've done enough cooking for now. We'll check on feeding people in the morning. So it is almost time to rest. And a little more fishing, why not? Or be because it's time to uh, actually go to sleep. Yes, go ahead and rest. There we go. And it looks like we've already got a whole bunch of things to deal with. Everyone up. It's time to wake up. Okay, all these get water. Let's see here. Did you know you can catch different fish when it rains? Maybe they like to come up to drink the fresh water that's dripping down. It's pretty neat, right? Not what I wanted. Stomach. Yeah, I got some food. So tell me. How do you feel about grilled veggies? Oh, thank you. I was quite hungry. And no hug. Okay. What about you? You need something? How do you feel about, uh, grilled fish? He likes it. And how about you? You need something... Popcorn? Yep, she does like popcorn. And a hug. Of course. Pull out the plants here. It looks like we're just about arrived. Let's see what these odd seeds will provide. Green Halton Bay. Well, we've made it to a new location. Let me just water these plants, and then we'll go see what's here. There we go. Oh, well, let's get off and take a look. Pretty sure it's quartz that we might mainly need. Maybe we'll find some here. Oh, too long. There we go, that's copper ore. 
Not quite what I intended, but okay. Hey, I came here to cut down these trees, but I forgot my axe. I'm not gonna start using someone else's axe. That would be strange. I like the way my axe feels. So sturdy and it calms me. Oh, I miss that axe. I've been passing the time by writing letters and throwing some in the water. I've been writing poetry. It's not very good, but I'm getting better. Hopefully no one finds my, terribly, my terrible poetry. Something tells me I probably will. <laughs> All right, more logs is actually gonna be good. Here we go. Ah, and more berries here too. We need more berries, we kind of ran out. Oh, something we can get out of the water here. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem we found any quartz. A ring? Valuable ring, let's see. A beautiful specimen of the one true ring. But this one doesn't rule anything except your wallet. Huh. And bay shrimp. It's a crustacean. We should try, uh... Albeit surprisingly combative for its small size. And copper ore. A piece of unrefined malachite. A foundry could transform it into a usable copper ingot. Which would be nice, except we don't have anything we can do with it. All right, unfortunately, there wasn't really much here. Back to the boat. Let's see. I can do some cooking of things. Let's cook the bay shrimp. Oh, that takes a long time. All right, while that's doing its thing, Let's go take care of what needs to be done for, uh, for her. More crates, but I don't need to deal with them right now. Not Francis, the Quartz Dragon. Oh, Quartz Dragon, I see. Now I understand. Well, it is raining, so let's see what other fish we can catch here. Though it's not going to take long. Message in a bottle! Okay, that, that was actually pretty quick. We'll check it later after we deal with Francis. No, not Francis. The, uh, the Quartz Dragon. And another message in a bottle. Hello, Francis. Oh, you just fished out a bottle from the sea! That's not trash. It could be anything in there. Tiny shrimp, old wine, a baby crab. Yes, yes, it could even be trash. Go ahead and crack it open. Okay, fine. Let's see. <laughs> Greetings from Furugawa. Experience the wonders of the great oak forest and the serenity of the magnificent rice fields. Available now in Gorenu Fields. And a lumberjack without an axe. Crying and sobbing. Old trees aren't feeling the cutting. We'll grow old, they said, laughing. Huh. Ooh. Okay, he likes the rain, noted. And I think I can give you something. Yeah, I can give you that. Move on, please. So we have a new location we can go to, it seems. We'll take a look at that later. Right now we're just about where we need to be in order to get more quartz. And everything is shaking. Oh, hold on, let me get uh, what you're cooking. I guess I'll have to pick that up after. Oh, this... I thought that might be it. The dragon. I guess it is inevitable that it would be here. Following me, always, even in this world. Our destinies, well, they're intertwined, are they not? Still, for all the harm it has done, it looks quite in pain, doesn't it? The rocks on its back seem to be oozing with corruption. Perhaps chipping away at them might soothe it? 
Go ahead, Stella. All creatures deserve love and care. Do what you do best. Oh, okay. You didn't seem to like that. And hello, Sarah. Okay, that didn't work. There we go. Got that one. There we go. You okay? Okay, there's another one over here. Here's one. Looks like we're just about done there. Okay, I think I got them all. Better? Incredible. It looks relieved, doesn't it? I wonder what it means. If we are ever to cross this dragon's path again, I think we should help it. However I might feel about it. For now, though, I need some time to collect my thoughts. Thank you, Stella, for everything. Oh dear. It, she's sad has witnessed the dragon from her past. Have a hug. <laughs> you looked like you needed it. Right. Now, as for what was growing a moment ago, or cooking, a shrimp cocktail. Well, that's interesting. Okay, and with that, I think we have enough that I can build something else. Yes, I can build that now. I'll need more coal for that and oak planks, which I can work on. But let's make the loom. Damn, I can't put it where I want to. But I can build it, at least. Go ahead and harvest. Not quite what I intended, but okay. Sure, more coffee. And let's put some corn in there. Oh, this loom looks fantastic. Don't be scared. It's in perfect working order. Let me show you how it works. You put fiber inside and then you spin. You just have to make sure you hit the right target. And you get a little extra if you hit the marker needle. See? Pretty easy, right? Now you try it. Try it with this fiber. Sure thing. And yes, Sarah, it is adorable, though I hear it gets very emotional later. Okay, that's all of that. can make quite a bit of fiber like this. Or thread, sorry. One more. Oh, wrong thing. There we go. See? It's not that hard. The machine does all the work. You just have to flow with it. And that's what makes this so soothing. The rhythm, the sounds, the feel of it, utterly satisfying. 
I'll probably give a go at it myself when you don't need mm -hmm. it. But don't worry about the materials, I'll manage. Alright then. So now we can make more fiber. And it looks like next I want to make... I can make a sawmill already. We do need one. Okay. So we're going to be moving some things around here, and I know exactly how this is going to work. So give me a moment. So let's see. You can go over there. You can go over here. So I'm going to try and put the thing right on top of that. So if I build the sawmill... Right here. Ooh, I have an idea. Okay, you go there. Now let's edit these. You go there. You go there. You don't quite fit. I thought you might. I was wrong. Alright. You are actually the same size as that, which would be nice for stacking, but okay. There we go. Oh, this looks amazing! Thank you for helping me out, Stella. This sawmill is so big! What a beauty. Uh, there's just one problem. Now don't get mad. I don't have any money to repay you. I guess that's why they call it a favor. <laughs> you see what I did there? Thanks again, Sprout. Trying to catch raindrops with my tongue. Well, we can go in here and try things out. And we can make a few wood logs. Let's make five. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, you're doing it all wrong. Oh, he was in there. No, I wanted to talk to him. Let me give you a hand. When you're cutting logs, you need to make sure your measurements are accurate. Then, you cut. Measure twice, and cut. You just need to keep your saw blade steady and on the cutting line. If you don't do it properly, you'll end up losing a pinky, or an arm, or something worse. Don't ask. And a hit from the old hammer for good luck? Give it a try now, you rascal. Alright, let's try cutting five of them. Ah, I see. Oop, missed the bit. Something tells me this is one of those things that would be a lot easier if I had a, uh, controller. Oh, that one I got. And there we go. Whole load of planks. And everyone's gone to sleep. Well, we probably should, too. But, at least now we know how to make wood planks. Alright. Now, let me look at what we've got here that's new. If I may, please. There we go. Shrimp cocktail, classy shrimp swimming in a pool filled with fancy sauce. We've got sawdust. It's coarse and rough and irritating, and it gets every... Someone likes Star Wars, and a large plank of maple. Structurally very sound. So, we can get the mailbox. Don't have enough to upgrade the ship. We need oak planks. We've got maple planks. So we can't make the next blueprint table without oak planks. We need to talk to a tool. Which we shall do. First off, everyone get up. Now, a tool, you were saying? 
Oh, nope. Nope, damn it. Oh, you did great. You're ready to start cutting wood like a champ. Just remember to be careful with the sawmill. Don't go and mess around with dangerous saw blades. Just because you've got leftover wood doesn't mean you should cut your hand off. Noted. And you have something to say. Stella, I've got to tell you. There is something I'd stumbled upon some time ago, and up until now it didn't seem that important. Brace yourself. Remember my parents' manor on the lake? As weird as it sounds, it's not too far from here. Yes, I know. It makes me wonder about this world too. I must admit I've been actively trying to avoid it. At any rate, it's become hard to ignore. As I've spent much time with you here, I think I'm ready to tackle this challenge. Mm -hmm. I'll probably only find regrets and sorrows there, but it's worth a shot. I've added the location to your map. I'll be ready whenever you are. And you wish to speak. Oh, oh you've been chopping it up in the sawmill. I like it. Getting the work done. Learn a new skill. Now that you've got some materials, maybe you could build me a house. Oh, oh let me sketch something real quick. Look, it's nothing fancy. It's pretty basic, mm -hmm. with just a few hinges here, a few nails in there. Oh, you've already got some materials to build me something nice. I'm asking not only for me, but for the crew. Apparently, I snore at night. Loudly, according to your friend Gwen. And more to say. As you know, I tend to get hungry. That's just a fact of life. Sometimes when I do, I get hungry for really specific things. Your Aunt Viv would call it laser-focused tummy. Don't get me wrong. I'll still eat pretty much whatever you put in front of me. I'd just like for you to put some effort into this one. I'll give you a shot when I get a craving. Hopefully I won't ask for anything too extreme. You never know with this appetite. Fair warning, Sprout. Noted. Okay, so you want a workshop. Well, I would like that. Oh, I need oak planks for a foundry. I haven't found any oak trees. And I need more maple planks for this. And I'll need to do more for that. Okay. Well, is there any more improvements we can make here? We'd need a linen fabric to do either of these. I don't think I can upgrade any more. Oh, but I can get more flax. Perfect. Plant more. Okay, what are the plants? Oh, I just realized I should probably uh, end this episode, shouldn't I? I lost track of time. Okay, fifth episode is done for this uh, game, and yeah, I had completely lost track of time. So, next episode, I guess we'll do some more exploring, try and get more wood, to do more upgrades and see if we can get more planks in order to build his workshop and get everything good. That'll be in the next episode. So until then, I am Chester44, also known as Fly. That is uh, Stella and Daffodil. This has been a Let's Play of Spirit Fair, and I shall see you all next time.